an authority in botany, this icon taught and mentored thousands of students in the life sciences and built the region's capability in botany and plant biotechnology. Professor Julian Duncan is an expert on local botany and has lectured at the University of the West Indies for over 35 years. He is also responsible for the establishment of a comprehensive semi-commercial plant biotechnology laboratory at the University of the West Indies, which has played a major role in the development of Trinidad and Tobago's capability in biotechnology. Born in St. Vincent on December 9, 1933, life for Julian was generally a happy one. He attended St. Vincent Boys Grammar School, where he played football and badminton and excelled in geography and English language. I liked botany at school, not as much as I liked geography. But when I got to university and found I couldn't do geography, botany then became my love, and I've never regretted it. After completing his secondary education in 1957, he wanted to study geography, but since it was not offered at the University College of the West Indies, Jamaica, he decided to study botany and graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in botany and zoology. In 1960, he became the first recipient of the Sir James Irvin Memorial Scholarship tenable at the University of St. Andrews, Scotland. There, he obtained a doctorate in fungal genetics and cytology. His doctoral thesis researched the nuclear division of fungus, for which there was no precise theory in existence. So he developed a new hypothesis, which was later published, and today is still highly regarded and used by the scientific community. He returned to Trinidad and joined the staff of the University of the West Indies St. Augustine as a lecturer in botany. This was the beginning of his prolific career as an educator. He had a tremendous influence on everybody who attended his lectures because of his tremendous drive and his motivation to get people interested in botany and in biology in general. Today, the thousands of undergraduate botany students throughout the Caribbean and 11 postgraduate students in tissue culture give testimony of this. Duncan attributes the success of his teaching career to his unique teaching methods, which encourage students to think and read more about the topic. I remember um, my very first day, my very first lecture in botany with Professor Duncan. Came in, we all sat down, he said, okay, you're reading for your degree, and you're going to do so extensively, exhaustively, and unfortunately, you will be required to think in my classes. He was very attentive, intuitive. You know, if you frowned in his class, he would notice. And he would stop his lecture and ask you, you know, where are you lost? Where have I lost you? Let, let me repeat what I was saying. Let me explain again, just so that this one student would grasp the concepts that he was teaching at the time. His students credit his meticulously organized lectures and laboratory periods which complement lucid lectures as an essential learning tool. For his excellence in teaching and administration, he was awarded the University of the West Indies Vice Chancellor's Award in the inaugural year of 1994. What impressed me about him was the fact that he seemed to be always there. He was never absent as far as I can remember. He was never late and he came to classes well prepared. This reflected probably a lot of hours of research. Professor Duncan introduced new courses in botany and plant tissue culture as a new specialization. His early research work focused on plant diseases such as witch's broom, fungi on cocoa, mites on the double chaconia, and the nematode destruction of the sweet potato plant. He also worked on the genetic improvement of food crops and ornamental plants. The pioneer of plant biotechnology in Trinidad and Tobago, he spearheaded tissue culture applications for a wide range of local commercial species. The aim was to produce superior plants in a shorter time frame than traditional methods. He established the Biotechnology Laboratory at the University of the West Indies to support training, research and development in tissue culture and plant genetic engineering. For his lifelong commitment to biotechnology, he was given the Nehurst Lifetime Achievement Award in 2002. My principal philosophy is, with God's help, all things are possible. There's a word that I would like struck out of the dictionary, and that is can't. I believe I haven't tried. 
I never say I can't do this or I can't do that. I say I haven't tried. Throughout all his achievements, he credits his success over the years as a scientist and educator to the support of his wife and family. The sky is your limit. Never think that anything is beyond you. Always try.